Today is the anniversary of 9-11, and we each have our own story of that day. I have no prepared words for it. I was in D.C. that day. I'll share with you all sometime the week it took me to get home and how it impacted my life. That's kind of dramatic sounding. Some of you all might have been in New York. I don't know, but we each have our story from that day. And so I just pray generally that we be a little extra sensitive to all of us on this planet today as this day goes forward, because it's going to trigger some folks to have bad time, bad memories. And it'll trigger hope in others. But if we're just sens sensitive to that in one another, in here and out there, then that's something that we could aim for, I think. Now would you please bear, uh, please uh, bow with me. Holy God, we don't know how to pray, but Jesus invites us into the life he shares with you, and so we keep coming because we want to live. Receive us now in our frailty, in our complacency, and in our desire. We pray for your church all over the world. We pray for wisdom and courage. We pray for friends and strangers who are addicted. We pray that you would make us able companions for each other. We pray that you would bless us with the kind of hope that bears fruits. We pray for unsettled economies and those whose needs are overlooked by the powerful. We have a basket of needs, Lord, they're all over the map. We pray for justice and peace in North Dakota for the Standing Rock Sioux and other American Indians whose sacred grounds have been desolated by empire. May we who know so much privilege bear our responsibilities with open hearts and open hands. Give the strength to leaders who call forth the best from us and God give us more of those and those who invite us to breathe together. Holy One, keep calling us into the world. It's your world. By the power of your spirit, we make our prayer with resurrection hope. In the name of Jesus. And now let us pray the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom power and the glory forever. Amen.